Hey, how's it going guys? So today uh, we're gonna be taking a look at the You hear that? I'm hearing footsteps. Sorry guys, the whole plan today was uh, to get out and show you guys the sick. I'm distracted. You guys jump up. Tell me you didn't hear someone whispering. Oh man. I don't know. I'm starting to get creeped out here. I don't know what the hell's going on. But uh, Hey, jackass. What? That's right, jackass. I've got a blaster. Give me everything you've got. Well, look at the balls on you, buddy. What? You think you're gonna blast me with this? Everybody knows the stormtroopers can't shoot. You think I came alone? The three of us can take you. Give me everything you've got or your worm food. Three of you. I brought the Cygnus. Your toast. We brought Hawkeye. He never misses. Last chance to hand it over. Oh, you brought Hawkeye. I'm so scared. You're gonna pay for that. My balls! Now the rest of you piss off, I got a video to shoot. Hey, how's it going guys? Mark here. So we're out in the woods today doing a little bit of shooting, but I wanted to get you guys out and do a comparison of a uh, of uh, the Cygnus slingshots. I got a brand new custom in just a couple days ago and I want to give you guys a quick look at it. So basically what we're going to do is I'm going to show you the uh, the standard version and a what a custom version <clears throat> uh, looks like and we're going to take a few shots with both and we're going to see how it goes. So I got a bunch of Lego men, got a couple of flippers, <clears throat> metal flipper, plastic flipper and uh, we're going to see if we can find some uh, some natural targets out here like a couple of mushrooms and things like that that we can shoot off the of trees. Uh, should be kind of fun. All right, guys, this is the Cygnus. So from, from forks, the tip of the handle is 135 millimeters. We've got a 90 millimeter fork width with 23 millimeter fork tips. And the standard version comes with wrap and tuck uh, setup. So pretty nice. On this guy here, we've got some Simple Shot 0.5 with a Warrior Mongol pouch, and I've got them tapered from 22 to 12. This is the standard Cygnus, and this is the custom. Now, the only difference between the two of these is the clips and what the materials it's made out of. Uh, these guys, like I said, aluminum and G10. This guy's a complete G10 uh, frame. The black is actually a black and orange layer with a orange uh, core inside of G10 and scales. Pretty nice. And the only other main difference is actually this one has clips and one of those little fiber optic sights on there, which is pretty nice. After shooting the standard version of this frame for a while and then getting this custom and shooting this guy, uh, I, I had to be honest with you, this is quickly becoming my favorite frame. I absolutely love this thing. It's, uh, it shoots great and uh, there's something about the grip that really locks it in your hand. So I had to get another one, believe it or not. So after having that other one for a while, I wanted to get one uh, that was going to be super nice. And uh, uh, not that the other one wasn't nice, but this one I wanted a uh, carbon fiber one with some red g10 it's got the, cha the channel colors on it it's absolutely beautiful look at this thing so it's got all the same specs as the other one i'll bring it back here just to show you real quick but you'll see exact same width exact same fork tips exact same overall length same canted tips everything is the same except for the the looks of it now i absolutely love these carbon fiber frames and the carbon fiber with the red, it actually matches my, my channel logo uh, with the black and red, which is really cool. And uh, anyway, I absolutely love this frame. I think the last thing that crossed his mind was his ass.
I've always hated the Galactic Empire. Oh, running low on battery. Anyway, we got the flash set up here. Have a look. Let's take them out. Hopefully we can get the shot done before the camera dies. Just wide. We got a branch right in the way. Got him. He's toast. Took two. I got a 40 mil flipper hanging from that tree over there. It's one of the metal ones. You're probably having a hard time seeing it because it's just gray and kind of blending in with the background a little bit. I could see it though, um, but uh, you're definitely going to hear it when I hit it. So we're going to start off with the uh, wrap and tuck version, see how it goes. Where'd it go? There it is. All right, we're going to be shooting this one next. This is the original custom that I got. Uh, it does have different bands on it, so it's going to be a slight adjustment. We'll see how it goes. Uh, and we're, but we're still shooting the same pouch. All right, that's what I figured. Let's try one more shot. There we go, we got it. All right, we're gonna go ahead and take a shot with the, uh, with the new one. Uh, I've been shooting these, uh, these 0.5 uh, simple shot bands for, for the last couple of days. I really got used to them, so switching back to 100% was a little tricky. Let's see if we can get it. There we go. Let's try one more for fun. Yeah, we're on fire with this guy today. Yep, all day. Simple shot, Cygnus, can't go wrong. So when you're out picking a frame, uh, really what, what matters out of all things is it, whether it fits or not. Now, uh, all of these are 90, 90 millimeter fork widths, which is something that I like. Uh, as much as I do like the wrap and tuck version, I do prefer the two uh, clips, uh, two with clips, just because it's a little bit easier to set up. But with the, uh, the band tying tape, uh, that helps out quite a bit and makes it uh, much easier. But all, all things considered, all of these frames are good looking frames, well built and uh, shoot brilliantly. So. Um, Really, I couldn't pick one or the other, except for the fact of the uh, the wrap and tuck versus clips. But that's uh, that's all I got. We had some great shots today with the standard version and with the custom version. Both of these frames uh, shoot excellent. They're really great design, comfortable in hand, good grip, pocketable. I mean, anything it, it, for me. These check all the boxes. Reasonably lightweight. And because you can get your grip up so close to the fork tips, uh, there's next to no recoil. So uh, for me, the Cygnus is a win. Really, uh, is it gonna be a win for you? Well, the only way to figure that out is actually test one out and try it and see how you like it. But uh, that goes for all frames. Um, but when you do find a frame that fits well, you will notice a difference in your shooting. I'm telling you, I promise you that. But uh, anyway, guys, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this one up. You guys, uh, Get out and practice, stay safe, be good to each other. I'll see you again soon. I love you guys, you're freaking awesome. Yeah, yeah, I know. I said I was gonna split, but I'm not. There's a nice chunky mushroom on that tree there. I wanna get a couple shots on it. Anyway guys, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button for me and subscribe if you haven't already. And for all of you who, all of you who uh, subscribe to the channel, Thanks a lot for the support. I really appreciate every single one of you. Anyway, guys, on this end screen here, I'm going to add a couple of playlists. One here and one here. Probably uh, we'll do some uh, slingshot reviews. And uh, down here, we're going to do the, uh, the quest for accuracy. I'm going to do a video of that coming up pretty soon. Uh, it's been a while. Anyways, you guys, take care. Stay safe. Shoot straight. And uh, teach a kid to shoot. Take it easy. Awesome.